guys, welcome back to my channel, Lucifer, Season 1, Episode 6. Uh, let's go over what happened last episode. Was this episode, um, what's her name? Not Maeve. What's her name, Maeve? Maze. You're Maeve. thinking of Westworld. Yeah, I am. Uh, Maze was like, we have to go back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. she actually wants to go back this time. She's been talking to, um, what's his name? Amenadiel. Amenadiel. Yeah. And, uh, he's basically like, okay, like, let's work together. There's some weird, like, history between them that I feel like needs to get Explored. brought to light. Yeah. And I think it will. Like, we're only a couple of episodes into season one, so I feel like not all of the characters are super fleshed out right now. That's typical with season ones. And we were talking about this, like, off camera. We were talking about how season ones usually are, like, the world building, establishing yeah. the characters, establishing what the show is really about. And then season two is kind of where... It picks, it picks up, up and, like, everybody gets into their own little groove of, like... Yeah, because, yeah. you know, it gets, like, slow in the beginning. But, like, it it's is. still interesting. It is. It's, it's interesting fun. and I'm interested enough at, like... I'm more interested in the parts that happen that, like, further the, like, character yeah, development almost. Same. Like, the crime things that happen every episode are, like, whatever. Like, you know, like, the, um, the sports agent with his football player or whatever he was... You know, that oh, happening, yeah, yeah, yeah. the murders, he was, he was the, the agent. Yep. Those are like whatever, but when they tie into Chloe's storyline or yeah, Lucifer's storyline, cool. it's, cooler. it's cooler, but I also find it more interesting because it's like what uh, what's going on that like we don't really know about, you know what I mean? Yeah. I like I like that more. Same. But um Maze is trying to make him go back because he's becoming more mortal. Mm -hmm. And he was like, is that, like, a bad thing? Yeah. And so that's, like, what is going on is hit in his head. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't even know how that would work, him becoming more mortal, because he's technically, like, not a being. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but he's on Earth now, so he's, like, I guess when you're on Earth, you play by the earthly rules. And, like... When, I don't know. When because you're in hell, what? are you just always that demon form? And when you come back to Earth, it's, like, you and you're on, on Earth. Yeah, you're in your human so, form. So, like... And when you're you in heaven, you're an angel form. You don't That's why you have angel ring, You don't wing, technically have, ring, like, a... Wings. Sorry about that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> when you're, um... What was I even saying? I don't know. Never mind. I don't I remember what to... I was saying. <laughs> mental illness. <laughs> Maybe it's mental illness. Um... I, I literally don't remember, because I was trying to say Wings. Wings. Rings. Wings. She was like, rings. I was wings. like, rings, 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 <laughs> rings. <Ham>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Potato, uh. tomato, <laughs> <laughs> What was I saying? I really do not recall. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. All I know is that he doesn't care about becoming more mortal. He actually is excited by the feeling of being able to die. My whole thing on it was, though, wouldn't he just kind of disappear if he's becoming more mortal? Because he doesn't have, like, a lifespan. Yeah, but he's in a he's in a human body right now. That's what I'm saying. But the human body, technically, he's still immortal. But I mean, not right now. He's right, not. right, right, right. I feel but like the human he has body to, like... is mortal. So there are a lot of questions that I feel need to be answered that I think will be answered. But I think more of like the, I they're not really irrelevant questions. But this is definitely a Carly question. Yeah. Who. You know how he's, like, a demon or whatever, so that's, like, his true self. Whose body did he go into That's what I was saying. Ago? Is it him? Oh, yeah. Was it him when he was on Earth? Like, was it his earthly figure before he died and went to heaven and fell to hell? Maybe. Or was it... Maybe. Him just, Maybe. like, in taking someone's And then my body? next question is, does he age? Does he stay at that age for... This is exactly what I was trying to say. Yeah, like, does he stay... If he's immortal... Does he stop aging at a certain age, or does he just continue aging forever, That's just on a greater saying. span? That's you know what I mean? Just at minds. a slower rate. My minds. That's really what so, I was trying to get to. Yeah. And then if he, I guess if he's able to bleed now, if he's able to get shot, it would mean that he has other human qualities, which could mean that he ages. That might be how they explain that, because, like, the actor is going to age throughout the course of yeah. It's been five years. So. You're right. Yeah. I mean, Botox is a thing. So, yeah, I could totally see Lucifer getting Botox too. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, those are all my thoughts. I we've been talking for a little bit now. So, unless you have anything else to say, nope. Let's get into episode six. Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? He sings. Oh, what? <laughs> run 
to. I can't take this seriously. Is that really him singing? I don't know, but if it was Lucifer and he has all these abilities, I would have assumed he had a better voice. I left to the devil. He was waiting He's pretty good. Yeah. Day. I didn't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Star thing here. Oh. oh. He really socked him. Oh, oh I really oh. snapped him and killed him. That wasn't very nice. He could have just made him pass out. Yeah, it's like kind what? of excessive. Broke the windpipe and everything. And he's just having a grand old time singing his lungs out over here. The real question is what what's in that shipment that's so high value? Yeah, I don't know. If you come clean now, I'll go easy on you. Oh. Mm. Did you eat the chocolate cake? I got this. It's a good cock, bad cop. I say cock. Good cop, bad cop. Stop. Security cameras were disabled, so no video. Probably gonna need to canvas the Lucifer. It's a dead body. A little respect. After all of your manipulations to get to work with me, you're really gonna walk away because you think this case is boring? Just call me when you've got a murder with a pulse. Oh my god. It literally happened on his property, no? I know, and it was for his case. Yeah. Like, it was... The container that's missing, it was yours. Oh, he didn't know. The container. Suddenly it's not boring anymore. Yeah, what the hell is the container? I have no idea. <laughs> ah! <laughs> This doesn't upset you? I don't know what to tell you, Maze. I guess it's not that important to me after all. Watch it be like the portal to hell. <laughs> oh my god. Well, obviously, it's something important to both of them. Was your stuff illegal contraband too? <sighs> Define illegal. What was in the container? Personal item, insignificant. Yeah, but what was in it? Do you think... I have a theory. Do you think it was his wings? Oh, maybe. I, I was just listening to what he maybe. said about it. Because he said it's a personal significance to him. It's not illegal. Yeah. Thus far, you've been honest with me. But now, for some reason, you're not telling me the full story. I'm telling you everything you need to know to help find my stuff. So please, enlighten me. Under what rock will we find Los Diablos? It's a very on-the-nose name, if you ask me. Los Diablos, yeah. I feel like this is, like, very hell-like names. Maybe somebody was trying to steal his wings. Oh, yeah, you're right. Like, they probably followed him from hell, you think, maybe? Yeah, and that's if that's if the container had his wings in it. That's yeah. not... That's a theory. I need to see your books. Without any foreplay? Your boss has reported an operating loss for the last five years. This club is packed every night. At 20 bucks an apple teeny, it doesn't really add up. Apple teeny. Actually, the books are in the office, and there are way too many of them to carry all by myself. But if you come out back with me... Would you go back with her? Hmm? Hmm? Would you go back with her? If I needed to, uh, detect a case... Whatever. If I needed to solve a case... No. You would too. No, I wouldn't. I would make her yes, bring him down would. one by one. <laughs> You're so, so full of you shit. You wouldn't be able to risk any of your temptation. Look, look, she fucking knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> When Chloe told you to leave, how did that make you feel? Well, pissed off, of course. I want you to tell me who you believe is the real you. I am um, second guessing your skills as a therapist. He doesn't know. He doesn't know who he is. I think it's progress. Or well, maybe I'm just realizing what a waste of time this is. He'll be back. It's a very human like quality. I'm glad you came with that. Oh. Is everything okay? Uh, it's, it's you. Hi. I'm sorry, it's just... Oh, uh... right. He... Yeah, he's like the other doctor. She has no idea he knows him. Because he's like trying to find out more information on him. Yeah. We talk in metaphors. Hmm. Patients with delusions. He's actually quite charming. <laughs> yeah, but even Satan disguises himself as an angel of the light. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14. Interesting. I thought you seemed 
Pure. <laughs> He's literally an angel. Pure. Listen, you really helped me with my patient the other day. Well, if you ever need a <laughs> consult, just let me know. Do you think she's up to something? No. I don't. But that would be a good little turn. I'm on to her. Yeah. Oh. You know, Dan's oh my god, and she's and talking about him. That's so uncomfortable. To see a little effort. Daddy! Hey, monkey. What are you doing? And why are you wearing a pillow? We're gonna play a game. It's called Sneak Daddy Out of the House. That still sounds like a lie. <sighs> It's complicated, monkey. What do you want? Chocolate cake. Done. For a whole year. I knew it. <laughs> Absolutely not. Mommy, I'm thirsty. Okay, fine. Now will you please go get me some clothes? <laughs> She's gonna be a smart kid. She's gonna be a lawyer one day or something. <laughs> Whose members have been arrested for guns, drugs, murder? A few bad apples shouldn't pass on in bad light now, should it now? But it does paint you as suspects. What else do you want? But his charm not work. To own a clothing line. Oh. Oh. <laughs> clothing line. What? Wow. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of money in the apparel industry. Left an imprint on the dead security guard at the warehouse. A lot of bikers wear iron crosses. Yeah, well, I'm interested in your guys who have iron crosses. I've told you everything I know. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact my attorney. Well, why are we leaving? He's he definitely yeah. He's always made a fool sit out of him. We have this little thing called due process. We can't just force things out of people. Besides, there's an easier way to get our bad guy. For the first time, I don't think you're being honest with me. You have this mysterious container that was stolen, that someone was willing to kill for. Despite all your weirdness, I... I actually really like working with you. Aww. What a momentous revelation, Detective Decker. We should celebrate. <laughs> you can celebrate from jail when it turns out I'm right about you. What was in the container? Russian dolls. Oh. Russian dolls. What if they have those wings inside That's of them? That's very metaphorical. Peeling back the layers. Can I come in here? That was a good show, too. When the fuck is that coming back? Oh my god, back? that's an amazing show. This is Unit 831. Yo! He's just gonna leave her? He's gonna go get the other guy. He's gonna run his ass over or something. So I guess the other guy was okay? I'm sure they called. Um... Yeah, it looked like he might have had a vest too. <laughs> now he knows he can get shot. Been a while since I had a good hunt. I like the music. Reminds me of cyberpunk. Yeah. I like this. This might be my favorite episode yet. Yeah. Oof. He didn't tell me what was in the container. I saw them. It's saw definitely the wings. Ooh. You're gonna be more than sorry unless you tell me everything. Please, I'm so into this right now. No, Ooh. No, 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 don't! <gasps> Yo, just seeing him caused him to do that shit? I mean, honestly, I'd rather kill devil. myself than deal with the devil. Yeah. I would- I don't know. I would feel like I was just tripping out or something, though. Like I was hallucinating. Yeah. I wouldn't be like, yo, that's really the devil. Are you right? And they've recovered one container belonging to a Lucifer Morningstar. You'd never lie to me, right? I hope the episode doesn't end yet. Watch it end right when they open it. I'll be pissed. And she's like, <gasps> "Yeah, we're not even gonna talk. We're just gonna go into the <laughs> next one." Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, it's gonna be wings. No, oh. it's what he said. Russian dolls. What's inside of them? I told you. I think he just was pissed that. Why like, wouldn't you check all of them? Could be drugs. I feel like that's so metaphorical. Enjoy that's so dance. odd. Oh, maybe You're there's. Watch it be like a freaking uh, Winter Soldier. <laughs> it's literally Winter Soldier with the Yo! whole like um, the whole lab. They're gone. What? I 
I bet you it's his wings that actually got stolen. Yeah, his wings were in the back over there, inside the compartment. No, he said they're gone. Yes, that's what he just opened was another compartment. I his know. wings were in the back. They're not there anymore. I know. That's oh, what I, I was thought saying. you thought that they were inside the box. No, Never no. Mind. Oh, tacos. Hey, I knew he'd hey. show up. We're just making the salsa. Maybe, uh, maybe we tacos. like Detective Douche. You told me your names, but you left out a few others. Prince of Darkness. Someone's been brushing up on their Sunday school. Yes, but before you fell, you were known as Samael, the Lightbringer. I don't go by that name anymore. That was a name that connotated your father's love for you. <laughs> no, God didn't cast you out of heaven because he was angry with you. How can you presume to know God's intentions? No, I don't. God cast you out because he needed you to do the most difficult of jobs. Can you even begin to fathom what it was like? Why do they blame me for all their little failings, as if I'd spent my days sitting on their shoulder, forcing them to commit acts they'd otherwise find repulsive? I have never made any one of them do anything. Never. But here's the thing. When angels this fall, this is so intense. <laughs> they also rise. All you have to do is embrace all that you are. I can't. But why? Because I stole them from me! His wings are a part of his identity. We just got into so much shit right now. I know, now. I actually have chills. Me too, look at that. <laughs> that was good. This is my favorite episode. We're this getting so, so much up. stuff. It was his wings, yo. A hundred percent. Because that's the last thing that connects him to his, his other self. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. That was so good. That was such a good episode. All right. I like don't want to talk a lot because I, know, I really I want to get into the next episode. Holy I shit. I know. Shit's really picking up. Oh my God. Okay. So I feel like that was like the most character um, focused episode that we've gotten yet. Like even, even with Dan, even with him like showing up to the house yeah. and like doing all that, like we even got some development there where he's maybe not such a douche and he's actually trying with his family and he's trying to make it work despite the divorce. And he's like, yeah, you could have Lucifer around, but just like not too much, you know, he, maybe yeah, he's not he the best influence. Right. And then obviously, um, with Lucifer, Holy we got shit. kind of, in the beginning of the episode, when he was talking to his therapist, he was talking about how kind of I don't really know who I am. Well, he yeah. didn't he didn't admit that, but we know that he doesn't really know who he yeah. is, and he has an identity issue. He's having like an identity crisis because he really doesn't know who he is because he's he's both things at once. And once he accepts the fact that he is both like has a little bit of good and has a little bit of evil, then I think that he'll be happier. I know, but he doesn't feel like he can have the good. And still be evil. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he doesn't feel like, like both he can was exist like, simultaneously. Like, why would he cast me out? Yeah. Like, why would he cast me out if I was his favorite son? Yeah. You know, that that was actually really interesting. They didn't explain why that ended up happening, No, though. no. They, I hope they do, though. Yeah, because I'm not, I'm not super, like, religiously... Um, Same. Uh, like, well-versed. So, very interesting stuff. No, and it's kind of like humans, too, because humans are both equally capable of good and evil. It just depends on their, like, circumstances, who they surround themselves with, and, you know, environment, biology, whatever you want to call it. But with Lucifer, he, there's parallels there because he's becoming more human with every single thing that he does. I know. And I feel like Loki... I feel, like, bad for him. Because me too. he was saying, like, people always blame me for their, like, sins, but, like, I didn't do anything It wrong. was God. It was yeah. basically God, because God... Well, we don't really know what he did to force God to cast him out, but now we found out his real name, Semiel, the light bringer. Yeah. Yep. He was God's favorite son, so maybe that's why Do you think Amenadiel... she just said that? She just said that, though, because Amenadiel, like, said, like, he won't want to hear it, but, like, it'll work. Maybe. Maybe. But what if she's bring, well so well versed in the Bible now because of Amenadiel? Because Amenadiel is completely good, right? He's yeah. an angel. He still has his wings. His wings are black, though. Does that change anything? Wait, Amenadiel's are? Yeah. Remember when he came Whoa, down the first wait episode? Wait a damn second. And freaking Lucifer's are white. Yeah. Does that change anything? Interesting. I don't know. I don't if that know. Changes anything. 
Yeah, I didn't think are, about that. Very interesting because what if a mena deal was actually from hell? No. No, that's like grand conspiracy. Yeah. I don't know about the therapist though. I felt kind of sussed out by her this episode because now that um I know Amenadiel went to her for information, like, obviously about Lucifer and whatnot, but I don't know. So, I'm, I'm like, I have a gut feeling about her that is just, like... I just want to get into it. I like, know, I'm I really know. excited just to go. I know, I know. But, like, um... What, what else? I was going to say something else. Was it about the therapist? No. I was going to say that, um, I think... We see Lucifer becoming more and more human, even with his inability to, like, carry out a proper investigation. Like, he always just wants to beat people up. He always wants to do this, this, and that. And I think that's more of, like, the sinister, the evil side of him, the punisher side of him. Yeah. And Chloe is kind of teaching him again what it means to be good. Yeah. And what it means, like, due process. You gotta do this, this, and that. You actually have to be... Patient. Patient. Yeah. And not completely evil. You can't just use violence. And he's kind of taking a step back and he's like okay whoa like maybe i do have the capacity for good again because yeah. i feel like in his mind he got cast into hell he probably was like maybe i am a shitty person maybe i am a bad person i want to see like um, the backstory and god come out of nowhere <laughs> <laughs> i know <laughs> it's morgan freeman <laughs> morgan freeman is god um that would be fucking amazing <laughs> Now I want that to happen. Oh my god. But, Barb and Star when he was the crab. Yeah. <laughs> He's just instantly, like, I just think of him as God in every... I know. In every, you know, iteration or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, I think that in the next episode we're probably going to get, um, I feel like a Menadiel... I feel like Lucifer might call a Menadiel back and be like, what the hell is happening, maybe? You think, like, he might, like... I don't think that he, Amena deals his comfort. I don't no, think he goes to No, but Amena I think deal. that he's saying that when Amena oh. deal said, like, you're gonna start a war, it's only gonna get worse, he's gonna be like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah. Like, it, um, I what feel like he might... What if deal stole the wings? You might be right. You might be right. It's like this grand conspiracy. I feel like it's not gonna be somebody that we haven't already been introduced to. So, yeah, right, somebody's would, lying. Yeah. Like, who else would want it? Do you know what we I mean? We don't know because we don't really know a lot also, about everybody. Also, why did those people steal his crate in the first place? The Los Diablos or whatever? Um, didn't they say that they mix, mix, mixed up the oh, crate did they? or something? I might, have, I might have brushed over that. Yeah, the, the crime and all that is irrelevant here. Like, the, the, cri- the crime of every episode, like, whatever happens every episode, I feel like that's maybe irrelevant. Maybe it's a little relevant to, like, how Lucifer is feeling. There are some parallels there as it relates to certain stories and certain characters. Maybe this one was, like, a whole new, like, era. Not era, but, like, a whole new, like, subset. Yeah, because something from him was actually stolen. And now he can't confide in Chloe because Chloe thinks that everything is... Fine Good to go. But he's getting more and more violent. He's getting more and more angry. We saw he literally pushed somebody to fucking kill themselves this episode. I know, but, like, he didn't even do anything. He just showed him their fate. I him, know, but, like, their... that's, you know, you gotta tone that down. You're on Earth here. You're not in hell. You're not torturing people. These are these are people <coughs> who are alive. Mortal. Yeah. And he knows he's mortal now, too. So he's kind of... Hulk at I know. the hang he of it. He was, like, the stupid mortal thing. I know. When he was, like, ducking from the bullets, that was insanely good. But, yeah, uh... Unless you have any other thoughts, I think that we should get right into the next no, episode. I, I think so, too. So, yeah. Without further... Not without further ado. As always, thank you guys for watching. Check out my other reactions if you have not already. And we will see you guys for episode 7. Alright, bye guys.